Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Gamer Logic. You know, last week I probably had one of the best pickup weeks in a long time when it comes to my retro game hunting. Uh, you know, I stopped into a play and trade and I was looking around. I saw a Menacer, which I didn't have, and it was a good deal. And I was kind of looking around, really didn't see anything else I wanted until I walked up front where there's the glass cases with the portable games, more expensive games, and found three things that I'd never really expected to find in the wild like that. The first one was Nestor's Funky Bowling, which is kind of a rare and more pricier Virtual Boy game. Uh, didn't have the box, but had the uh, actual game, of course, with the cover and the instruction manual, $4.99. Next to that was Mario Clash, same price, $4.99. Awesome deal, especially considering you don't find a lot of Virtual Boy games there. Well, next to like Corona Trigger and Final Fantasy II and Final Fantasy III and some of the more rare RPGs was... This, a Super Mario Bros. 1988 Game & Watch. And growing up as a kid in the 80s, I've never, ever seen one of these before. And I've actually never seen these at any of the conventions I've ever went to either. I've only seen them in magazines. So I was blown away because this thing is actually in really good shape. Of course, being in the pricier game section, I was figuring, okay, this thing is going to be like 50, 60 bucks. So I asked the girl, how much is that? Pulls it out of the counter, turns around and goes, oh, it's $4.99. Well, I kind of had to hide my excitement there because this these things go for anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks depending on condition and if you have the box and stuff like that. And uh, I could barely contain my excitement. So I told her I definitely wanted it, took it home, got some batteries for it, and the thing works like a charm. So a very cool collectible to have. Um, I went ahead and did a quick uh, overview of it footage-wise. And uh, it's not the best because the screen is kind of hard to see on the camera, but hopefully you'll get the point of it and uh, just be able to check it out a little bit more. So enjoy this little look into the Nintendo Game & Watch. Here we go. So here is the Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch. Uh, it's got the control pad on the left hand side here, or control buttons, I guess it's not really a pad. You get your jump button here. Um, on the top part here it actually displays a time and that will correspond with a button that you can actually set for the time so the item can tell the time and uh, you can also set an alarm for it as well which is pretty cool and uh, Super Mario Brothers on the top, Game & Watch, you look in the back here there's actually, which I think is really cool, is this little thing to pop it out so you can stand it up like a frame my $4.99 play and trade uh, price tag sticker and again, that is, uh, they brought it in in his as, uh, inventory as Game & Watch Gallery, which is actually a Game Boy game. So this ended up only being $4.99. But uh, this is the back end. The batteries go here and talks a little bit about the uh, date and everything when it was released. This was released in 1988. And uh, tells you the type of batteries and everything. And... Uh, the screen is really reflective, so this is probably going to be kind of hard to see, but give a little demonstration of the gameplay here. So, no mushrooms, no uh, flowers. You're pretty much just jumping and trying not to fall into the water like I just did. really hard to play when you're looking at this, but it's got a couple of different worlds. It's got a timer on the top there telling you how far you got till uh, you beat the stage. And apparently I can't get past that. But uh, it's just a cool little uh, collectible. And I've seen these go uh, in this condition when it's by itself uh, for anywhere between like 100, 150. And in box I've seen it go anywhere from like 175 to 245. But uh, for finding this for $4.99, along with Nestor's Funky Bowling and Mario Clash for Virtual Boy, all for $4.99 each, that was like an incredible day for picking up games. So, very cool. I uh, just kind of wanted to show off this cool piece of Nintendo history. Take it easy, guys.